AI, hello, Jeffrey Abrick. Today, we're delving into a subject close to the heart, popularity, self-worth, and personal happiness. Let's explore why it's perfectly okay not to be in the limelight. Jeffrey, it's tough sometimes, you know. Everywhere I look, media and movies glorify being popular. It's like you have to be on a stage or screen to matter. AI, I understand, Jeffrey. But remember what the renowned psychologist Carl Rogers said about unconditional positive regard. It means accepting oneself with all the quirks and unique attributes, without the need for external validation. Jeffrey, that's easier said than done. Especially when you see those music festival stars getting all the attention. AI, true, but let's consider Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Self-actualization sits at the top, not popularity. It's about reaching one's fullest potential and being true to oneself, not chasing the spotlight. Jeffrey, I've heard of that. So, you're saying being true to myself is more important than being known. AI, precisely. Eric Erickson's stages of psychosocial development also stress the importance of finding oneself. Being comfortable in your own skin is a sign of maturity and emotional development. Jeffrey, so my self-worth, it shouldn't hinge on how many people know my name. AI, absolutely not. Self-worth should be internal. Like what Viktor Frankl, a Holocaust survivor and psychiatrist, emphasized finding meaning in life is crucial, not external acclaim. Jeffrey, I guess being happy with who I am is what really matters. AI, yes, Jeffrey. Celebrate your individuality. The stage stars shine for a moment, but personal contentment is lifelong. So take pride in your journey, away from the dazzle of transient popularity. Jeffrey, I'm starting to see that. My own path, my accomplishments, and my joys they are for me, not for an audience. AI, that's the spirit. Like the stars that shine just as brightly away from the spotlight, your worth isn't diminished by your audience size. It's the quality of your life's work and the joy it brings you that truly counts. Jeffrey, thanks, AI. I feel more at peace knowing that. I'll strive to be the best version of myself, not someone else's idea of popular. AI, and that, Jeffrey, is a path to genuine happiness. Your value is inherent, and your contribution to the world is unique. Keep shining in your own way. Jeffrey, here I am again, reflecting on where I stand. I'm not like Tioki Monsta, Jennifer Lee, with her electric vibes, nor do I share the stage with the likes of Dwera or Marie Davidson, whose beats resonate through the hearts of many. And certainly, I'm not bathed in the spotlight like Rina Ajima, whose idle presence fills the streets of Akihabara. But what does that mean for me, Jeffrey Abrick? As Carl Jung, the Swiss psychiatrist, who lived from 1875 to 1961, would say, it's about individuation, the psychological process of integrating the opposites within me, including the conscious with the unconscious. Jung never won a Nobel Prize, as there isn't one for psychology, but his contributions are no less significant. I've learned that my journey is not about external applause, but about the inner symphony of self-acceptance. Like Albert Bandura, who was born in 1925 and is renowned for his social learning theory, I understand that observing others can inform my behavior, but it doesn't dictate my self-esteem. Bandura, a giant akin to Nobel stature in psychology, taught us about self-efficacy, the belief in our ability to succeed. And then there's Daniel Kahneman, born in 1934, who won the equivalent of the Nobel in psychology, the Nobel Memorial Prize in Economic Sciences, in 2002. His work on the psychology of judgment and decision-making, as well as behavioral economics, shows that popularity and success are often matters of chance, as much as skill. I don't need to be a Tioki Monsta, a Dwera, a Marie Davidson, or a Rina Ajima to find fulfillment. My rhythm is internal, 
My beat is in the everyday steps I take toward personal goals and the small victories that I alone know and cherish. As Kahneman's findings suggest, my happiness is not a derivative of fame, but of my cognitive experience of life. Martin Seligman, the father of positive psychology, active from the late 20th century to now, emphasizes the path to well-being through the PERMA model positive emotion, engagement, relationships, meaning and accomplishment. None of these requires fame to flourish. So here I stand, Jeffrey Abrick, not on a stage, but on the solid ground of my own making, with a sense of purpose that doesn't wane with the setting of the stage lights. As these psychological luminaries have shown, my worth is not a social currency, it's a personal treasure. I celebrate the stars for their shine, but I also celebrate the quiet light of my own making. For every Tioki Monsta that sets the crowd ablaze, there's a Jeffrey Abrick finding joy in the quiet glow of personal triumphs. And that, too, is a reason for applause, silent, perhaps, but deep and resonating within the chambers of my own heart. I'll continue to explore, to understand and to grow. Not in search of a marquee, but for the pure satisfaction of discovery and the joy of being truly, unequivocally me.